Father God, we thank you once again for tonight, for your grace and for your mercy. In the presence we lay, oh God, as we come for prayer, the key even that opens all doors to the kingdom of God. Help us, give us faith to believe thee. Give us the utterance, oh God. I commit every soul that is here tonight into your hands, our needs unto you. Father, those who are not here unto you, oh God, the reading of thy word unto you, oh Father, may you lift us, oh Father. We invite your spirit, oh God, take preeminence. In Jesus' name I do pray and believe. Amen, amen and amen. Praise the Lord. Uh, we we'll turn to the book of Matthew chapter 6 and the uh, first Kings 17. Praise God. The Pedro is great to see you today in the house of the Lord. God bless you and reward your efforts. <clears throat> I had quite a reading here, but because of time, I'll try to cut some of the scriptures uh, so we can read in time. Matthew chapter 6, uh, we read verse 33. The Bible says, if you got it, <clears throat> But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. In Kings 17, I will read, I would have loved us to read the whole uh, chapter there, but I'll read verse 14. Praise the Lord. Amen. <clears throat> For thus says the Lord God of Israel, The power of me shall not waste, neither shall the cause of oil fail, Amen. until the day that the Lord sendeth rain upon the earth. Amen. You may be seated. Praise the Lord. Are you happy tonight? Amen. Friends, I'm charged tonight. Amen. The presence of the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, Hallelujah. I believe we didn't come here to waste time. We didn't come here to play games. Amen. We came here to worship God. Amen. We came to pray. Hallelujah. Amen. We came expecting. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. And I expect to go with something in my hands tonight. Amen. Praise the Lord. I've just been trying to listen to the prophet throughout the weekend. Just see what God can say. And uh, I was telling my brother, really, you just preach on Friday and preach on Sunday. No problem. But he insisted, no, my brother, no, I need that break. So, okay, fine. If that be the way, it's good to follow the order. Praise the Lord. God is good. Are you happy? I see his feminists to nine. We are supposed to be done by all nine. So, uh, we'll see what God can do for us. It's a challenge for me when I stand there. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, I want to speak on a quick uh, few verses the Lord has given us there. And uh, just to lead us into prayer. And um, I've been looking at different thoughts. And this just came to me. This is about 3 o'clock. And when I was listening to the prophet and trying to figure out. Sometimes you have not. So you make all these things. And I want to speak tonight on God first. And my inspiration goes to the message the prophet preached. Be certain of God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. So my thinking is God first. Amen. And my inspiration, be certain of God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. And you know, you can, the only way I can be certain of God is if I put him first. Right. Because if I'm certain of him and I'm not placing him first, then my being certain may not bring fruition. I may not get the results. So the only way I can stand up and say I'm being, I'm being certain. Prophet said, be certain of God. Amen. So being certain of him is actually putting him first. Amen. And once you put him first, that's why the scripture tells us, put sickly the kingdom of God first and his righteousness Amen. and all, all these other things shall be added unto you. Amen. And what makes me become certain of God is because I'm expecting something from God. And when I'm expecting that, I'm very certain if I have him, he's going to do it. Amen. Praise the Lord. And the only way now that makes me be very certain because I place him first and I know once I put him first in everything I do in my life, if I place him number one, then he's obligated by his word to give me what I'm desiring from him. Because God answers prayer and God keeps his word. 
God is faithful to his word, and when God promises his promise, he does not falter. Once he says it, he says, my word will never go forth from my mouth and gets back to him for it. Because if we said it, he's obligated to fulfill it. Hallelujah. So we are looking at this and you see here, uh, the prophet told us the word that says the Lord is not a man speaking. Every time you read the message and see that says the Lord is no longer with a man and Branham. That's God now possessing that voice and speaking to the world. And if you look at it very carefully, he never said that says the Lord unless you find out there's something very, he could quote that from a prophet or another scripture. But he did just to, you know, stand behind the pulpit and say, that says the Lord. That say, I've seen people say that word and it's very dangerous to say, that says the Lord. Amen. Unless you know God really spoke to you. Amen. Because that says the Lord is the voice of God Amen. that you receive from God and you are reflecting that voice. It's not you speaking. God is using me to speak. Amen. Now we see here, that says the Lord. There is the cup. It's not going to go dry. Praise the Lord. It never go dry. Praise the Lord. Verse 14, the Bible says, For thus says the Lord of Israel, The barrel of meal shall not waste. It will never get finished. It will never disappear. Neither shall the cruise of oil fail until that day the Lord sendeth the rain upon the earth. Praise the Lord. Now there's a paradox there. I'm speaking about the paradox because as we see God is sending Elijah to feed the woman and on the other side God is sending the woman to feed Elijah. And God does his things in a very mysterious manner. His wonders to perform. Hallelujah. So we see Elijah is speaking and three and a half years for three years, six months there was no rain in the land. And the prophet says probably it was so terrible the morals were decayed. We see King Ahab being the king during that time he goes to marry a woman who was not a Jewish woman a woman who was evil and he brought Jezebel into the camp and the gods of Jezebel gets into the camp and once they came in and all the morals was destroyed. Just as we see when the king said things, you find men of God who are supposed to speak the word of God. They do certain things because the queen, because the prince, because they, he said it. So because you know the king is saying it, the president is saying, let's do it. And the moral went off completely. And because of that, God brought hunger to the land. And we see God is sending Elijah to speak. And Elijah speaks this word. And we find out as he's standing there, the land is getting so dry. Praise the Lord. And the prophet said this woman, this widow woman was a righteous woman. Probably the husband died. He has a little boy. He's trying to bring up to life. And you see a mother's love for the child. And he's trying to wonder. And they have very little left. Hallelujah. And they're talking about themselves. And the prophet said probably the man is dead. The woman is there. He wakes up. And probably there was a night of prayer. There was a watch over. We have just a little left on our cruise. There's a little meal left for us to eat and die. Oh, blessed be the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And we see Elijah was standing there and God sent his word to him even to go and under the brook. Go and stay there. You'll be fed by the ravens. Hallelujah. And the Bible says the brook got dried up. All that the ravens could bring to Elijah got finished. And it seems there's going to be a dry land. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, praise the Lord. And remember the book died because there was no more rain. And that was the word of Elijah, that generation. By his word. Amen. Amen. And Elijah still now moved from there again and go to Zarephath. And there again, God is still speaking. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I have commanded Hallelujah. Amen. A widow woman yes, to feed you. Amen. 
quench God first. And you see, this step, this statement in verse 14 of 1 Kings 17 comes after trial. Right. It's coming after the test. Right. Praise the Lord. Amen. The woman did something. Mm-hmm. And let me tell you, friends, we are going wrong today because we are not putting God first. Amen. We are placing everything before God. And then God comes the last. But God wants to take the preeminence. He wants to take number one in my life, in your life. Because he said if you pray, he answers prayer. Hallelujah. If you ask, he'll give it to you. If you knock, the door shall be opened. I wish I had enough time to speak on these things. But you see, this woman was tested. And if you look at the message, desperation, Brother Abraham says when you get desperate to God, then he comes down for you. Amen. This woman was desperate. And the prophet said maybe in that night he can just see the boy in pajamas that walking around, and when he walked out, they don't know that seeing a small spoon left. Now they are facing death. They don't know what to do. And she's walking out in the field trying to get some sticks. I'll cut into this. And the prophet says, as he went out getting some sticks, he had some little meal left and some little oil from the cruise. He knows he's going to have this. Now he's looking for some firewood to go and fix it and eat and die. And on the other side, Elijah is all suffering. The book is dried up. He's about to wonder, God, what's going to happen? prophesied there is not going to be rain. Hallelujah. And this moment as she comes, God is working on the woman. God is working on his prophet. And God had enough confidence in that woman. He wasn't an evil woman. It was a righteous woman. Probably there were many widows. But God chose this widow. Living in the world of desperation. By himself, hallelujah. But God sees our needs. God watches. God tests you. God tries you. God is sitting to see your action, your reaction to your actions. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Sometimes it requires for it to dry up, Amen. for God to come in. Amen. As long as it's filled up, we are not desperate. Right. As long as the brook is still coming, the ravens are coming, we are not desperate. Amen. But when this cover is hit all over the place, there is no more food coming. Now they are coming and need for me to begin to seek what next. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. And this lady knows very well. I'm my little son. And you can figure out if you are a nice mother and you are looking at your child and your child is facing death. You are also going to die. And there is nothing you can do. And you are walking around. Oh, what a situation. And then we see the prophet comes there and Elijah walks to the woman and God has spoken to Elijah. God is speaking to the woman and is holding a stick in the hand. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. The prophet said that was his part of the sacrifice. He heard it for himself, seeking to just find out where he's going to get those sticks. And the prophet says, in between that the two sticks became the cross. We see Jesus, there is a meal. Amen. The meal offering. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And the oil is there, the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Oh, praise the Lord. And the Bible says, them that worship him must worship him in truth and spirit. Amen. Blessed be the name of Jesus Christ. You can worship him in the spirit, but not in the truth. You can worship him in the truth, but not in the spirit. And when you put the spirit and the truth together, now you... Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The woman is feeding Elijah. And Elijah is feeding the woman by the word of God. Now think about it. Praise the Lord. Sister, think about it. That's the last thing you're going to give your child. And there here walks an old man. He tells you, can I get, fetch for me some glass of water. And while you are going to get the water, he comes and he speaks to you again. 
I also need, go fix that meal. And bring me fast. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Sometimes God looks unfair. How am I going to pay my bills? How am I going to go to work? How am I going to pay my rent? God wants you to decide for him first. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. God wants you to give him first. Amen. That's your decision. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Amen. Young man, God wants you to give your life first to him. Right. Education is good. Jobs are good. Families are good. But God first. You want a blessed family? God first. You want a good job? God first. You want a good school? God first. Just bless God first. Sometimes it doesn't look good. Sometimes it doesn't look patient. Hallelujah. After he did that, the Bible says that me will not dry. It will not dry. Hallelujah. Do you believe? Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Is your cup drying up tonight? Is your meal drying up tonight? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The woman is walking. She's desperate. Praise the Lord. Amen. And you see, sin brings all this trouble. Sin brings all these challenges. Right. Sin brings sickness. Right. Praise the Lord. Amen. But when God comes down to clean, he only comes down to clean. Right. And God can sit there. When the disciples were with Jesus in that pot, Jesus knew it could sink. Jesus knew there were waves. But you see, Jesus is not lying, resting, probably sleeping. And the waves are coming. Praise the Lord. Amen. Jesus, it was, Jesus does not learn, no. He's infinite. He knows he's the Alpha and the Omega. He's the greater I am. He knows the beginning to the end. He knows the challenges. He knows all things. He's unpleasant. He's unborn. He knows all things. Amen. He's self-sufficient God. Amen. So there's nothing new that happens to him. But are you certain of the God you worship today? Amen. The only way you can be friends, if you want to worship God, we need to be certain of the God we worship. Amen. Because if the preacher goes out to preach the word, the purpose of preaching the word, if there will be a man or a woman who hears it, is to repent and be saved. And God said, if you hear and believe, the return of it is God will give you his gift. Amen. He will receive salvation. And that's the purpose of the preacher going out to preach. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. And friends, we are in a church. But church is not a burden. Right. Church is a way to us to come and worship God. Church is not these benches. No, sir. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Let's don't look for a big crowd or a small crowd. Church is you and me in fellowship with the word of God. Hallelujah. And church, the Bible says, when well, two or three are gathered in my name, there I will be in their midst. Amen. So once we are here, we are not looking at filling these benches. We fill the benches great. Amen. Praise the Lord. We are 5,000 great. Praise the Lord. We are too great. Praise the Lord. But we need to be in fellowship, which is the bond with God. One in God. Hallelujah. Now there is a spirit. Because remember we speak of is the days of Elijah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The meal neither the cruise will not dry. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord. The widow welcomed Elijah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Amen. And the prophet says, a person that will humble themselves and pray till that spirit in them 
is satisfied with the goodness of God. He says, not head. And a revival takes place in the inside of the house that changes the attitude and the atmosphere they live in. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. We don't want to live in an atmosphere of complaining and complaining about these things of this world. Praise the Lord. Amen. God wants to hear some testimonies. Glory. God wants to hear some victory. Right. And the prophet says, if you can pray, praise the Lord. Amen. If you can humble yourself and pray till your spirit is satisfied in the goodness of God. Amen. The goodness of God sometimes is painful. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sometimes it's tough. Mm. But until the spirit is in there and is satisfied, the prophet says it will bring even the inside of thy heart. It changes your attitude and brings the atmosphere of God where you are. Amen. And you begin to sing the melodies of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Does not mean you are on a floating bed of his ranging. Sometimes it's tough. But because you've experienced the goodness of God, praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Prophet says, whatever we do, God is not satisfied until human soul becomes sanctified on the altar with God. Praise the Lord. Amen. Friends, God is possessing your soul jealously. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. God wants your soul. Praise the Lord. Amen. He says there must be a thirsting in our own hearts to bring back a living God again, a living experience, and undying faith. Praise the Lord. Amen. It's not faith that wakes up and goes up, up and down. It's undying faith. Amen. It's a living God in our lives. Amen. This is the purpose we are praying. Amen. This is the purpose we are coming to church. Amen. This is the purpose we are worshiping God. Amen. God first. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. The widow woman had been chosen to entertain the prophet of God because God had a confidence in that woman. Amen. And God has chosen you to entertain his word in this age Amen. because he has a confidence that you are an overcomer. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. You must be worthy. That woman was worthy. It wasn't an unworthy woman. She wasn't a dirty woman. And when God looks down, he knows that young sister has the potential in that age to overcome. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. It is God's choosing. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Friends, before you do anything, be certain of God. Amen. Before you wake up, be certain of God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Prophet says, once we have done all that we know how, That's right. once we know what God wants us to do, and we have done all that, then faith goes into work. Hallelujah. Faith stands steady. Praise Amen. the Lord. Faith knows God is. Amen. And God, he is Amen. present. I am Amen. today. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Once you've done that, you see, Jesus didn't say when he returns, will I find a church? Will I find righteousness? No. He said, when the Son of Man returns, Hallelujah. shall he find faith? Faith is works expressed. Amen. Praise the Lord. And those works are not the works of the world. 
That's why we need to be saturated with the things of God till when we walk around, the world begins to see us. It's not I that is living. Paul said, it's no longer I that liveth, but Christ that liveth in me. It's no longer I that prayeth, but Jesus prayeth in me. It's no longer I that is asking. It's no longer I that is crying. It's no longer I that is seeking, but it's Jesus in me. My desire becomes Jesus. Jesus desire. My action becomes Jesus action. My seeing becomes Jesus in. Why? Because I'm certain of God and I've pressed God fast and I know if I'm going to ask it, God is going to answer because I've experienced this God. Jehovah great. He's the great I am because I know I have the experience. Oh hallelujah. Let me tell you friends, that woman he went in there. He prepared a meal for the prophet of God. You must feed the prophet. You must feed this message. You must eat this message. Give your time for the message. Give your time for the Bible. Once you begin to take it, you are taking the meal which is the word of God, which is the spoken word, and that meal becomes your offering, the sacrifice of offering, the offering sacrifice. And once you take it, then you take the Holy Spirit. Oh, hallelujah. And the Spirit of God comes down, and when the Spirit comes in you, you know God promised, if I repent of my sins, if I confess my sins, if I go before him, and you are Satan, you've done all God says. Now you stand there. Now you take the two sticks. Oh, hallelujah. I'm holding the meal. I'm holding the, the, the oil. Now I'm going to give this offering. Put the fire together. The fire of the spirit. It begins to work in you. No devil can stand you. No touch can stand you. No man can stand you. No post can stand you. It's the fire of God. Oh, hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Oh, hallelujah. The woman gave to God. He provided the sacrifice. And God was pleased. And he came and said, Thus says the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. Once you meet God's requirement, friends, oh, he brings your faith even to a short down. Once you meet this, the requirement of God, God brings your faith before the devil. Let me tell you, friends, God had, Job had all the problems. He had all the problems. These friends came to Job. They told me, I think you sinned. I think you sinned secretly. And the prophet said, Job even looked around. He had dollars. He even went and asked for forgiveness for the dollars. He said, maybe my children have committed a sin. Let me go give an offering. And he knew he was right before God. He knew he had not done wrong before God. And he thought, maybe my dollars, they are mine. She, he went and gave a sacrifice on their behalf. And before God, he had confidence. He was certain before God. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. When you say I believe, amen. I wanted to preach on all things to God. You cannot sing only believe, but some things are impossible. It's a question in your faith. Your faith needs to get the shutdown with certain challenge. It could be your father. It could be your mother-in-law. It could be your sister. It could be your family. It could be your church. But your faith is going to come up to a shutdown with your boss in the office. Yes, he's telling you how to dress. You are going to say, no, boss. You can take the job. I want Jesus. It's a shutdown, friends. We are in a warfare, friends. Is the God of darkness this world? Jezebel in this world? The kings of this world? The evil God of this world? They are possessing this generation. But there is a voice of Elijah again. It's calling you. You can fill your cup tonight. If only you can believe. Oh, hallelujah. If you are sure of God, God is sure of his heart. If you are sure of God, God is sure of his word. When he promises his word, he keeps it. So just be sure. 
be certain of God. And if you are certain of God, then that God is sure Amen. of his word. Amen. He may just be only watching to test you, but his word Amen. is sure. People, children, Amen. were sure. Amen. They knew even if we burn thrown into this fire, if we burn, it's fine. But we are not going to put our Amen. feet down and bow to the idols. Amen. No. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We understand. I should be close friends. I cannot just do all these things. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Even if God doesn't serve us, we are not going to bow down to the idols. We are not going to bow down to our jobs. We are not going to bow down to our bosses. We are not going to bow down to our neighbors. We are not going to bow down to our families. We are not bowing down to anybody. We are going to worship God. Praise the Lord. Your mother may refuse you. Your father may reject you. Your parents may reject you. Your church may reject you. But we are not bound to anybody. We are certain this is the God we are serving. Are you certain of God you've taken? If you've taken this God, and you are sure it's God who called you to the very purpose of your stand, stand firm. Go for the showdown. Praise the Lord. We are taking sides with Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Take God at every word of worship. Amen. Praise the Lord. We must be certain tonight. Hallelujah. They walked right into the fire furnace. Why? Because they were sure. Praise the Lord. They walked into death. But at that moment of walking to death, God comes down. When this woman is giving up, just open one for me, my brother. When this woman is giving up, and the prophet said that night, if they had a prayer meeting, if they had a prayer meeting, then, oh, hallelujah. I wish I was like Brother Paul, he had a drink water. Oh, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. That night of prayer, those desperation. Let's have some desperation for God. Amen. Your job cannot save you. Amen. Your kids cannot save you. Amen. Your church cannot save you. Amen. It's Jesus. Amen. Be certain of God. Amen. A man can tell you this. A woman can tell you this. Your husband can tell you this. Your daddy can tell you this. But I want you to be certain of God. Amen. Praise God. Amen. This must become a reality. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. When you came here, my friend, what were you expecting? Did you receive it? Amen. And coming here does not mean here. Coming to the word of God. Amen. Come expecting. Amen. We'll move from here. Right. This is not where God is. Right. God is not this pews. God is not this benches. God is not here. God is in his word. So we are not telling you to come to the bond. We are telling you, come to Jesus. Amen. Come to Jesus. Amen. Do the same today. Amen. Come expect him. Hallelujah. Put him fast. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Those Hebrew children, they defiled the king. They rejected the king. And they walked in there. Walked into fire by faith. And that's faith the prophet says. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory, glory to God. Oh, blessed be the name of our Lord. God is so good. Oh, be certain of him. Oh, hallelujah. Job believed him. Amen. Job trusted him. He had no doubt. Hallelujah. Amen. The God's promises are true. Amen. Brother Branham says, one time he walks in the house and there's Sarah and the, uh, 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 what's the other girl? Rebecca. Uh, and Rebecca, praise the Lord. And they're there, and Rebecca goes to Sarah, uh, uh, Sarah goes to and says, you know, I, 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 I have all of daddy, right. praise the Lord. And the other girl feels so bad, 
And the prophet says, and he just goes down, and they had a commotion in the bedroom, and uh, they had just go down, and she's just feeling so bad. That is missing the daddy came back home. I just have all of daddy. And Brother Brown says, and he just stepped on there. He picked one feet and just stepped to the girl and said, I have you. And he just goes back and told the sister, you know what? Daddy has all of me. Praise the Lord. You need God to have all of you. Sometimes maybe you are, your leg is out there in the world trying to tickle around. You want God to have the all of you. Some of your eyes are still out there. Maybe you are worshiping in truth, but you are not in spirit yet. Maybe some of your eyes are look, 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 look. You mean God wants to have all of you. Praise the Lord. It's good for you to have God, but it's better for God to have all of you. When God has possessed you, then the devil is outside. You are inside God. Praise the Lord. We need to have God have us, all of us. Do you love him? Amen. Oh, praise the Lord. Oh, my God. I have so much notes here. I don't know what to pick on and what to leave. God is good. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Jesus was that meal. Amen. That meal that lady had. Amen. That was Jesus in Amen. type. Amen. Praise the Lord. And then we've seen the oil was the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And put it together that Jesus was blessed on the cross of Calvary. Amen. And when he died at the day of Pentecost, he sent us the Holy Ghost power. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Now we can walk certainly with certainty we know we serve a living God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. The sticks, they produce fire. Amen. And when you put crisscross them, those who come from Africa, you know, you just keep pushing them. You just keep pushing them. And the fire keep glittering. Glittering. Do you want the fire of the Holy Spirit? Amen. I see it's approaching 9 that we need to pray. Oh my, my. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Take that part of sacrifice. And present it to the Lord Jesus Christ. It's a glorious moment. It may be gloomy. Maybe in your corner of life there's some gloom. You are not sure what to do. Tonight I'm inviting you as you go to your knees. God's Institute of Neology. As you go to ask him, is your situation worse? than that widow situation. God can answer. Amen. And we need to stay there. My friend, my brother, my sister. There's a scenario in your life. Maybe as I'm speaking to you tonight, there's a condition in your life that is bothering you. It's bothering your Christian life. Maybe it's pride. Maybe it's lust. Maybe it's just the ish, the pleasures of this world. We are here to worship God. Amen. We are here to light for God. Amen. It's not at all about Brother Paul. Brother Paul is there carrying a cross for Jesus. He wants to go in. You want to go in. Every one of us wants to go in. Amen. The purpose of our worship is to bring Christ down in our lives, literally. Where well, the world can taste of that salt. I know these men are different. Those children are different. These sisters are different. Amen. This is why we are here. Amen. Are you willing to pray? Amen. I wish I could go and mention all these men I could love to talk about. But in the time we can't. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. This pressure sometimes is God. And remember, God comes. Sometimes what bothers you, just God wants to see your reaction. And sometimes when you are, God can use your husband. God can use your wife. God can use your job, your parents. Just to test you. To make, to produce that God of who you are. Do you love him? Amen. I want us to pray. My sister, just pray for me that song again, Mr. Balan. I was going to sing it and you sang it. That's the spirit with us. Praise the Lord, Psalm 23.
My faith looks up to thee. Where is your faith looking at this night? As we go to worship God, as we pray, the third pool is speaking the word of God. Where you can speak it. Praise the Lord. We are seeing all the messengers. And we see all those messengers. God was in their lives and they gave their lives for God. God wants to use you. God wants to use me. And God wants us to surrender tonight, my brother, my sister. If only we can surrender and pray, he's going to answer. And we are going to see God's wonderful works moving in our midst. It's not God who is far away. When he met Abraham, he gave Abraham to take that walk to Jireh. And as he walked, God was watching. And remember, as he's going to give that sacrifice, the only thing he had, God waited for the last minute. God is waiting for you to say, remember Brother Branham, when he was just about to give up, and the devil is saying, you see the God you say you are healing and doing, you see what he has done for you, where is that God? This is how the devil speaks to you. You have no good job, look at your family, look at your this, look at, where is that God? Look at the church you go, look at this, look at that. Look at your ministry. Just the devil speaking to you. But God is looking at you at that moment. Are, are you certain that you are worshiping God? Amen. When prophet was just about to say something, then God came down. Amen. When Abraham was looking, after he waited for many years for the son, give the son back. That sacrifice was just behind. Your help is right to you. If only you can believe. My faith looks up to thee. The Lamb of Calvary Oh, hallelujah. He looked at it with a desperate moment. 